Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. Well, 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 why don't we, we see if we can, we can take some questions. questions? I think that makes a lot of sense. All right. You see, you that, see one that one from Ray? Ray? He said, so, so we're really, really just not, not only trading, trading the intrinsic implied, implied, but you're but also, you're also so, really, really, I guess what he's saying is that the intrinsic is something that we trade every, every day. day. Not, not only, only decay, decay, but, but, but the potential variance. Do you want right. to um, yeah. on that? Yeah, that, the changes in extrinsic is really what drives the, the value of your trade. Um, if you concentrate on where that extrinsic is trading, you will be a much more successful option trader. You know, I always tell people if, if you don't want to learn anything about insurance premiums, you should probably just stick to futures. Um, because, and, and it's, options are harder to trade than futures, which is why I think there's more uh, profit potential in them. Steve, stop me if this sounds crazy, but... In my experience, the harder it is to trade, the more prop, the more ability there is to make money in that that potential trade. That absolutely, that absolutely makes, makes sense. sense. Like, like you yeah. said, uh, but education is very important. I guess, I guess that, that goes, goes to your point, point though, right, Mark? Mark you do mentoring, mentoring because, because you need to understand what, what you're, you're doing. doing. That's exactly right. You know, and that that's really what it is. Is that you know there are a lot of there are a lot of guys out there that don't want to teach you edge, which is a problem, okay? As market takers, all right, as, you're welcome, as a group of people where the general public, our edge is the ability to initiate the trade, okay? If you think about that, nobody can force you guys to initiate the trade. So, if that's your edge, you better start using it, okay? Figure out when is the best time to initiate that trade, and that is how you can make money, okay? That is kind of what I concentrate on at Option Pick, okay? I really spend my time working on when is the best time to initiate. Anybody can teach you to manage a trade, okay? Risk management is important. It's getting in that trade as a group as the people that initiate that is going to make us a success. Mark, Mark I have a question, question for you. Let's, Let's say, say that, that we, we have three, three groups, groups of people. people. We, we have beginners, beginners, we have intermediate, intermediate and, we and we have advanced, advanced traders. traders. Could, you Could you just go, go through? through? I know, I know it's, it's going to take a long, long time, time, but maybe, maybe just, just as succinctly as possible, possible. What, what you would advise, advise the beginner, the intermediate, and the advanced trader? And to learn, maybe to potentially come to you for help? How does that work? Yeah, well, the beginner trader, if you're new to options, don't you dare pay for anything, okay? There are so many great resources out there um, that are willing to teach you for free, okay? The OIC is one. The OIC, the ISC. Okay. Right. If you don't think you can, you can email Steve or heck, email me, and we'll point you toward a great book. We'll put, point you toward a great website. We'll point you toward the OIC, mm-hmm. and you can get just tons of free education. Okay. Soak that stuff up. Okay. Get to a point where a book like um, Shelley Natenberg's Option Volatility and T- Pricing or sh- Option Volatility and Trading, it starts to be something that you can comprehend what he's saying before you even think about paying for anything, okay? For an intermediate trader, okay, the less you spend, the better. But, but, sp- so, but it's sometimes worth it to spend. Spend wisely, Okay. A lot of times, the intermediate traders end up buying too much education, okay? So don't go out and spend $25,000 on something that you're not sure you're going to be good at, okay? Because this isn't like college where there is an entire experience to it, and just by going to college, you've kind of expanded your, your general knowledge. This is a very specific, centered study, and... You know, learning options 
there's not you know really learning options. There's not a lot of of use to derivatives beyond derivatives. Okay, and so don't go out and spend six twenty you know ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars on something that you're not sure you're going to use. Shop around, learn. Okay, soak in as much as you can. Okay, someone like me, I do run this L2. My, my L2 Future Pros course, I purposely make it as inexpensive as possible because I want people, the, the first way I can improve, improve your returns is by keeping your, account, your, uh, your education costs low. That's what I tell people. But uh, spend the right way, okay? And that is really, you know, my, my number one hint. Don't just, you know, just because something sounds great doesn't mean it is great. Now, the pros, okay, those are the guys that should really be able to tell whether or not uh, what they're paying for is worth it. They can, those guys are educated enough that they should be able to spend whatever they feel like, okay? But it's the intermediate trader that I find ends up overpaying for education. Now, you can come to a guy like me. I'll do, you know, I do small classes on things like volatility. I do small classes on... You know, I've got this L2 prep course coming up, which is kind of a – like if, if what I was teaching you today you understood but you learned from, that L2 my, – my little uh, – my six- to eight-week prep course, I always go over, so I say it's supposed to be six weeks, but uh, it's going to end up going to eight, <laughs> is a per, kind of great entry point. My, uh, my level two future pros course, which is – you know, really reasonable at a thirty nine hundred dollars is, mm-hmm. and, and a year long is something that I think there's a real value in. Um, watch how much you're kind of spending on a per hour basis is what I would say. For a pro, you're smart enough to figure out what what is worth your time. That's that's what I would say. Wouldn't you tend to tend to agree? You know, I knew as a, a professional, I know if go, I know talking to someone whether I can learn something from them. Absolutely, uh, and, and that's. So I don't worry about those. It's that middle tier that I think ends up – that beginner tier that always pays for stuff they don't, that they can get for free, and that middle tier that pays for things they don't need that, that really kind of scares me. All right? And don't go for anyone that's teaching shortcuts. If they're not concentrating on volatility, they're not concentrating on options. All right? They're teaching you a system. Systems are ineffective. That's been my opinion. Hey Mark, what about, what about your blog? Can, can beginners, beginners learn from your blog, blog and more from intermediate and advanced? advanced? You know, it's, it's yes. I think beginners can definitely learn stuff from my uh, blog. It's certainly geared toward the intermediate to advanced. But as a beginner, learning what you don't know um, can be as much of an advantage as learning what you know. Um, resources that I would point you toward if you're a very, very beginner um, – you know, you can shoot me an email or you can call me and I'll give you some specifics, but one of my coworkers at Expiring Monthly, Mark Wolfinger, does options for rookies. Um, his book is a great resource for, for new traders. Um, and, uh, again, the OIC and, uh, and the ISC uh, are also great, great resources for, uh, for beginners. My blog, yeah, it's, my blog is really – it's great. Um, you know, it's very centered on, vol- on volatility discussion would be what mm-hmm. I would say. So if you want to know whether you know enough to trade actively, if you can read my blog and understand what I'm talking about, then you're probably in a position where I would let you trade. <laughs> but I always say this. Think about your knowledge as an option trader. Would you trust somebody with your knowledge to trade your money? If the answer is no, then you shouldn't be trading. <laughs> okay? Good point. Good point. So that would be my knowledge. So, yeah, again, um, follow me on Twitter. I love, you know, I, I, it, you'll hear when I'm, update, when I'm posting new blogs. I've already got a great one po- ready, written for today. I haven't posted it yet, though. Uh, if you want to talk to me about anything I've discussed today, if you have questions in general, you can email us, info at Option Pit. You can dial us, 888-TRADE-01. They'll make sure you get through to me, okay? And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. 
All right. No, Helen, thank, thank you. you. Again, no, uh, sorry, sorry for a little, for a little bit of a glitch. No, you know um, what? It's uh, <laughs> It, it it wouldn't be WebEx if it wasn't full if there wasn't a show. <laughs> uh, well, so, so anyway, anyway uh, uh, love to have you have back, back in a, in a couple, couple of months. months uh, yeah, as, as, you know we're, we're doing, doing not only, not only currency, the currency but we're doing ETFs. ETF. So maybe, maybe next time you'll we'll jump, jump on the other side and talk about ETFs and how important volatility ETF options how important is for those also. Yeah. Now, hey, are are you guys going to have an? What are I? You know, I'm just kind of hearing about this ETF deal. Are you guys going to have like a currency uh, ETF type of thing, like a, a basket currency ETF or anything? Uh, like that? We're working on that. We'll, we'll see, see how that goes. goes. I mean, there's that a lot would of be things. a cool thing if you did kind of a dollar index ETF that you could trade against uh, individual currencies when they get overpriced. That would be something I would love to do. You know, you buy this de one currency in particular is overpriced, so you buy the dollar index and sell the currency. Yeah, 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 sort of like a yeah, yeah, like a yeah, spread. Yeah, spread. That's, that's well, that, yeah, well, it allows yeah. you to take the actual dollar component out of the currency itself, exactly. and just trade that single currency it's, it, itself. Right, right. So, um, yeah. Well, right, you know, well. couldn't thank you enough for having me on. I cannot wait to come back. Um, you know, I always enjoy uh, dealing with my friends over at the International Securities Exchange. And uh, I will uh, talk to you guys very soon. Mark, thank, thank you very, very much. Very much. Uh, tons, tons of great, of great information. information. And, and uh, uh, as Mark, Mark said, said, you know, you've got to figure out where you are, are and, uh, and uh, where you, you want to go. go. And so, so Mark, Mark can help, can help you. you. So visit, visit optionpit.com. Option 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 um, read his blog. Mark, Mark, thank, thank you very much. Thanks again for having me. Have a good one. You're welcome. Well, that was that Mark, Mark Sebastian, Sebastian Mark talking, talking about volatility, about volatility and, and its effect on, on FX options. Uh, just to remind you there that uh, next week we're, we're going to have, uh, we'll be off, but, but the, the following, following week I'm going to be doing a Q&A January 24th. And uh, after that, that's, that's, that's a Monday, Monday, I believe, and I believe we'll be doing... doing Something, something else. Actually, we're going to be doing, doing Rick Wolf and Sean Howell will be with us on the 18th, 18th. But, then but then on the 24th, 24th there'll be a Q&A. You can ask all the questions, questions you've always wanted, you've wanted, wanted to ask. ask. Uh, and, and please sign up for all the, all the uh, webinars, webinars that are coming up, whether ETF or currency. Or currency. Please, please join us at the ISE, where we do the weekly webinars, Tuesdays. We're going to be doing 3 o'clock currency, 4.30 um, ETF, yeah, although, although we are, we are going to sprinkle on a couple Mondays, Mondays and Wednesdays until we iron it all out. out. But again, again, this is Steve Meisinger, wishing you a safe and happy, and happy trading day, day tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm happy I see you, Steve Meisinger, wishing you a safe and happy trading day tomorrow. Thanks again. Bye now. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.